bother about the children. They will take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. But you, you need yeah. to take this drug. So you have to drink the tea. Take something. How are you feeling now? <coughs> yes, who is it? Oh, oh Papa, yeah. what is it? Daddy, a man is waiting for you in the living room. He says yes. he wants to see you. His name? He didn't mention it, but he said yes. he needs to see you urgently. Go and tell him that I'll come and see him. Okay. Maybe he's one of the church members. Now, you have to take this. It's very important. You need to take these drugs. I will drink it. Don't worry. Go and see the man. Go. You will take the drug? Yes. <sighs> Go and see the visitor. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I was busy in the room. <laughs> Please have a seat. Thank you, sir. So, what can we do for you? I will be brief, sir, so that I do not take too much of your time. My name is Victor. Simply Victor. I am married with children. And my family is based here in the city. We are all Christians. The Lord sent me to you, sir. Really? The Lord sent you to me? Yes, sir. I will be brief. I made a vow to the Lord that if he prospers the work of my hand, then I will give the tithe of all. And God proved faithful to me. So I prayed that he should lead me to where he wants me to pay the tithe. He put your name on my mind, sir. And so, I have brought it here. Here is it, sir. It is 300,000 Naira, sir. Oh, what? 300,000 Naira? Yes, sir. God said, I should pay it as tithe into your family. And you will pray for me in return that the Lord should bless my business, especially my next contract. The Lord told you to bring this to us? Yes, Pastor. Ha. Ha. <sighs> the Lord is able to do exceedingly above all we ask or think. <laughs> my brother, I will pray for you. What do you mean it? This is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm coming, please. I'm coming. <laughs> Something has happened. What? Something has happened. What? A man came in now and said the Lord told him to come and give us money. No. Can you imagine that? Did this is not? This is it. This is it. 300,000 Naira. 300,000 Naira. The man is waiting wow. now in the living room. He said I should come and pray for him before he goes. Go and pray for him. I'm coming. Sorry for wasting your precious time. Not at all, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. The Lord that I've used you to meet this need at this time, we always meet your need. Amen. So, neither let me pray for you.
Father, Lord, you are a faithful God. We thank you for using an unexpected source to meet our need at this time. Thank you for this man, Brother Victor. And thank you for his business, which you have made to yield a huge profit. And you uh, Brother Victor. Yes, Pastor. See, the, the Holy Spirit is ministering to me to ask you to mention the business so that I can pray on it specifically. It is an importation business, Pastor. I travel a lot and I import goods from other places for selling. The money I brought is the tithe of my recent importation and I am traveling again soon. As long as the Lord prospers my journey, I have promised him that I will obey his word and pay the tithe. So the business is majorly importations. All right. All right. So, our Father, I commit into your hand the importation business of this man. I pray that you will prosper it, that you will enlarge it, that you will... In It's the prayers of our pastor. No? Just have your seat. I just want us to check the money before I conclude the prayers. It is correct, Pastor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each contains 50,000. That is 300,000 naira. Good. Package. man of God in town? No, Pastor. I do not know any other man of God in town. That cannot be. That cannot be. As a child of God, you should know some other men of God in town, even if there are few. You're right, Pastor. I, I know quite a number of them, but I am not too familiar with them. Why all those questions, Pastor? Because I have a feeling that the Holy Spirit does not allow me to accept this money. I can't understand, sir. Neither can I. But I must obey the Holy Spirit in me. Don't you need this money? That is not the issue. Sir Victor, that is not the issue. The issue is discerning the mind of God. I need money. But I can decide that I do not need this money. I have great needs. Two of my children have been sent out of school because I have not been able to pay their school fees. And my wife has been sick for the past five days. And I do not even have enough money to buy all the necessary drugs. There are needs at home. And in the church, I have great needs, but I would rather wait for the Lord who gave the vision to make necessary provision. That is why I would suggest that I could give this money to another man of God in town. I am sorry for any embarrassment and disappointment this might cause you. I am deeply sorry. 
All right, Pastor. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's nice meeting with you. Thank you very much. As I've said, I'm sorry for any disappointment and embarrassment. I can't understand this myself. But I know we shall know each other better than this. Not at all, Pastor. I understand your convictions. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Thank you. spirit uncomfortable when I held that money in my hand. But he said he spoke to him to come and give us that money. Maybe I should not have said what I said. Maybe I should have accepted the money. No. Why are you talking like this? Don't you trust your spirit again? I do. Dear, I do. But I cannot yet understand why my spirit had to stand against accepting the money. In the midst of all these great needs of ours, the school fees of our children still remain unpaid. The house rent is still in arrears. So many needs need to be met in the church. And yet, I find myself rejecting the gift that will have settled most of these needs. There, sincerely speaking, I can't understand. I can't. Only. In my own view, if truly the Lord has led you to return the money, then he has a reason for it. And he has another way of meeting our needs. Hmm. That is if truly the Lord had actually spoken to me. Honey! Yes, I'm coming. The Lord told you to bring this to us? Yes, Reverend. Uh, this is God. This is God. This is God. What's up? See what this man has brought here, dear. What's that? Oh, it's time. It is 300,000 naira. 300,000 naira? Yes. Wow. He said the Lord told him to look for us and give us his time. Is that so? Oh, God bless God. you, brother. Amen. God bless this is God. You. This wow. is God. He is an importer of foreign goods and is a member of an evangelical church in town. But the Lord specifically told him to look for us and sow this seed to our family. Wow! Thank you, brother, for obeying God. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, oh my God, this my is God. wonderful. Yeah. Um, excuse me, sir. Yeah? My desire is that you pray for me and bless my business and the work of my hands, sir. Oh, sure, sure. We will do that. Yes. The Bible says he that watereth must be watered himself. Yes. Yes, we'll pray for you. 
Oh, this is God. This is God. Brother, let us pray for you. You poor, poor, mama, 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 baba. Oh, this is God. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, He that sows bountifully must reap bountifully. Yes. As your servant has bountifully sown into our lives, yes. let there be a floodgates of blessings Amen. upon his business yes. and the work of his hand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, the angels of the Lord encamp round about them to fear the Lord and deliver them. Let your angels protect him Amen. as he travels to and through in his business in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Is it? It's me. Open up. Come on. Boys, let's get moving. We are behind time. You took a long time, Agama. It was necessary. We needed the prayers from holy men. I have not forgotten the God of my father. Did you succeed? Yes. I managed to get the blessings from a higher man of God. The first man rejected the gift. Hmm? You mean he rejected Trioneta Romela? He must be in millions. No. He truly heard from God not to accept the gift from me. He's an example of few men of God today. Who could truly read the mind of God? Hello? Yes. This is Pastor Duro. Ah. Yeah, Pastor. This is Victor speaking. Ah! Brother Victor, I'm sorry for my behavior the other time. I hope... Pastor, just listen to me. I have managed to give the money to someone else. Ah! So soon? Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. I... Just listen to me. I don't have much time on this line. Actually, your judgment was right. You rejected that gift because you felt it wasn't a clean money. I, no. Actually, I would have... Just listen. People like you are good pastors, right? You are in no need. Yet you felt your God was not giving you permission to collect a tithe of stolen money. Stolen money? We've given thought to many pastors, and they've prayed for us and blessed our armed robbery business. So I felt I should give it to someone else who would be able to pray for us and back us up. You rejected it, but a higher man of God picked it up. You are paying a tithe of stolen money? Hello? El Hello, Victor? Victor? Hello? Ah. Boys, it's 10 o'clock. We stay in a neighbor hotel to zero hour. Let's get moving. been busy. Very busy. Busy? Busy doing what? Look here, buddy. I think you have to tell me what you are now involved in. For the past one year, you've been out of the campus. 
expelled for courtism after spending three years at the university. I asked you to re-enroll. You refused. I got an admission for you in a private polytechnic. You turned it down. I even brought an idea of enrolling in a computer college to study information technology. You rejected that one too. You keep on telling me you are busy, busy, busy doing what? Don't shout on me, mom. I should not shout on you. Don't you care how much I spent on all this? And do you care how much dad has spent trying to get you back to him? Don't give me that. I'm not going back to that house. I'm satisfied here, okay? Even after all his pleadings? After all his pains on what he has to appeal against the divorce? The die is cast. Even after his change of life? After his newfound faith, mom? Has he sent it to me? Then go back and tell him, I'm not going back to that house. I'm satisfied here. I have my kids and I have my business. Your kids? You can have my sister, but you can't have me. Daddy, do you, do you realize what you're saying at all? Yes, Mom. Yes, because you don't care about us. But I do. No, you don't. All you care about is your pride, your comfort, and your selfish vengeance. Do you know how a child feels who comes from a broken home? When parents who are supposed to be living together under the same roof of a joyful home are living miles apart and the children's loyalty and love is divided between two homes. No, mom. You never had no feelings because you never came from a broken home. Buddy, you are too harsh on me, buddy. You are too harsh on me. You judge me too bad. You never judge what your father did to me. That's no fear. There we go again. Repeating the same thing over and over. So, he cheated on you. Got involved in a relationship outside the home. But he has broken the relationship, mom. And he has parted ways with the lady. He has been so sorry. And he has asked for your forgiveness. And the forgiveness of we, his children. And we have forgiven him. Besides, he's a changed man, Mom. You don't understand, buddy. You just don't understand. All right. What is it that I ought to understand again, Mom? What? I find it difficult to accept that child into the family. Ah, no, I can't. But the court has ruled that the lady should keep the child while dad gives her a monthly welfare allowance. So the child has been with the lady. All the same, the child still bears your father's name. Doesn't she? Because she is my father's daughter. Bade. Bade. How are you? At the end, she hasn't come. She's on her way. Your products are ready. We have them in the store here. Oh, I know. They need pharmaceuticals. Yeah, I know. I'll deliver your message when she comes. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. Good morning, ma. Good morning. I how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Any message for me? Yeah, there's one from Zenith Pharmaceuticals asking for their products. Me too, man.
Hello? Hello? Teju Mari? Oui. Yes. It's me. Well, I just feel like um, talking to you. That's why I said I should call. Uh, have you seen Barry lately? Because I've not seen him for about two weeks. I think I should ask you that question, Hoi. The kids are old enough to take care of themselves. Do you need to trail them about? Come on. Uh -uh. Look, let's stop all this. Huh? Let's stop all this. Look, you have every right to be angry with me. Yes. But I've said I'm sorry. Huh? There was a mistake, right? And I was, and I am still very, very terribly sorry. When are you going to forgive? Well, I've forgiven, but it can never be business as usual. No, tell you. <laughs> Look, what is between us is not business. It is love. Come on, tell you. Don't do this. Huh? Tell you. The deed is done. Look, I did all I knew I could do. I broke the relationship with the lady. I don't maintain contact. Look, she will take care of the child outside my house. Yes. I had separated myself from her, so there's no way she can be my wife. Look here, Hoi. Why are you wasting your time on a broken head and bolt? The court had ruled on her case too. He had divorced. Have you forgotten him? Uh, uh, uh. Man rules over a court, but God, who reigns in the affairs of men, is the source of true love. Tejumadi, I still love you. There's no doubt about it. It's been two years since you've left me, and the lives of our two children have been adversely affected, Tejumadi. Is it my fault? <laughs> The children were old enough to witness the unfaithfulness and promiscuity of their father. And that was enough to demoralize them. Whatever happens to them, Hoye, you cause it all, okay? You cause it all. But they have forgiven me. They have forgiven me. But I have not forgiven you. And I can never forgive you. Thank you, Made. Good day. Your phone call was so urgent. So I've been waiting. You look so depressed again. What's the matter? I called her as you advised, Pastor. Really? Yes, yes, yes. Come. And what did she say? Same old story. As usual. She vowed never to forgive me, and she banged the phone on me. My first son, Pastor, was expelled from campus for courtism over a year ago, and I've not set my eyes on him for the past two weeks. My daughter has become so unpredictable. Both of them have been so unhappy. For the past two years, ever since we separated. And I tried to explain everything to Teju, but she wouldn't listen. She said I should never raise the matter up again. <sighs> Pastor, I, 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 I don't understand. <sighs> I'm fed up. Mr. Maxwell, It was because you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ could straighten your crooked life. That was why you committed your life into his hand. You must believe that he is fighting on your behalf. 
Thank you, Pastor. I believe. You must believe. I believe he's working on my side. Forget that they that trust in the Lord can never be put to Thank you very much, Pastor. I really, really appreciate your concern and your care. Thank you very much. Uh, I have to go right now, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm grateful. Thank you, Pastor, for all your love and help. you straighten my crooked paths. My wife was so loving and caring until I betrayed her love and set my own home on fire. My children have become suddenly wayward and very unpredictable. Now that I have run to you as my refuge, you must straighten all my crooked paths. Lord. Can we help you? Who is this? Molade, Molade, why, why, why have you joined the gang of night girls? You're supposed to be on campus, you know. Molade, Molade, why, why?
after that. So, and she said she's coming now. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Engage. Yes. Sir, what do I bring for you? We have juice, soft drink, and wine. I am all right, Nkechi. Thank you very much. I hope there is no problem with Madame or your work or anything. Ah, uh, no, sir. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. I told her to tell you I'd just come from the factory and I was so tired. But she still came back to tell me you insisted you would like to see me. Well, I'm so sorry, Teju, for disturbing your rest. But I hope you don't mind. All right. You can come up soon. Thank you. Teju, something horrible happened last night. And I feel I should let you know about this. To you? No, but to Omolade. What happened to her? Well, nothing physically bad, but rather morally very, very bad, which I think could jeopardize her future. What was it? Last night, as I was driving, I picked up Molade at a red zone amongst the night girls at 10.30 p.m. What could she be doing amidst the night girls? Tell you, my dear. How could you be asking what Molade was doing among the night girls at 10.30 p.m. at night? Huh? I took her home and um, I spoke with her. Very early this morning, I went to her room and had a very long talk with her before dropping her in the campus. All right. I will see her this evening and have a word with her. That will be very nice because it's necessary you talk to her. <laughs> Oye. Yes? Sorry to interfere into your private life. I'm only being curious. May I know what we were doing by that time at the red zone? Uh, and how could you have taken time to spot your daughter and miss many night girls? Uh, uh, tell you, uh, what are no, you no, trying no, no, to... No. I'm just trying to say that the leopard cannot wash off his body skin. Can you now see what your promiscuous character has done to the life of your daughter? She wants to take to your lifestyle, but I won't allow it. Teach you, my dear. Teach you, my dear. It is true that the leopard may not be able to wash away his spotty skin, but Jesus Christ washes away a sinful life. Don't give me that rubbish. It's all camouflage. You want to deceive me with your new fan fade the way you deceive your son? Hmm. The other time he came here, he started shouting on me. You have been converted, you have changed, and that I should forget and ignore all the ridiculous and the terrible things you've done in the past. I knew you sent him. Ah, I knew all your tricks. You. Let me finish. Just let me finish. I can't endure another moment of injury on my heart. I can't stand another injustice. I'm better off as I am. Let me answer your question, Tejumade. I was coming from my pastor's place last night. After a discussion with him, when I picked up Molade at a red zone. All right, all right. Have you finished our discussion? Uh, one more thing, Tejumade. Very important. Let us put this disagreement behind us, Tejumade. Oye, it is too late. No, I don't think so. Come back to me, huh? and let us build our crumbled home together. But you crumbled it! Yes, I know. 
but give me another chance to build it back up again. Forget it. Once beaten, twice shy. Forget it. Tejumade. Tejumade. I still love you. Please, forgive me. Huh? Please. This discussion is over. I'm busy upstairs. Tejumade! You should realize that I've been vested with an authority to get you arrested for encroaching on my privacy. By the government verdict, we are divorced. Tejumade! But we have two grown-up children between us to discuss about. Then, when you finish discussing about them, you can leave. And don't ever, ever discuss this issue with me again. Ever! Tejumade! Tejumade! I'm sorry I'm late. We, we had a council of Dickens meeting in our church and we, it took quite a while. Can I get you something to drink? Don't bother. Actually, I would have gone home to sleep. But for your phone call that you are on your way. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so, what happened? How did it go? Did you visit her as promised? Yes, I did, Akin. I did. So what happened? Did she attend to you well? Her attitude was as usual. Uh -uh. As usual? Didn't you tell her about Moladi? I did. But she was as tameless and unforgiving as usual. Even after I told her that I picked up Moladi on the streets amidst the night girls. How I took her home, spoke with her, and dropped her back in the campus the next morning. And she still did not say anything? Nothing. Instead, she asked me what I was doing at a red zone at that time of the night. Ha. Ah. Very sad. I can, very sad. When I brought up the issue of our reunion for the sake of our children and for love, she rebuffed it vehemently. And she warned me never to raise the issue again. What do you intend to do now? I will just keep trusting God and hoping that she will change her mind. Maxwell. Yeah? yeah. Can I ask you some absurd questions? Yeah. Ask anything. How old is the girl? Who? The baby? Yeah. Well, she's about um, two years and some months. What about the lady? Where is she now? I don't know. And I don't wish to know. I just phone her from time to time once in a while to ask about the welfare of the baby. I send a monthly allowance to her through a staff in my office. That's all. Would you know whether she's married to... Another man now. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have to have asked such a question. I, it's just that I'm concerned and confused about your welfare. It's been two years. Just imagine. In spite of your sincere repentance and confession, your wife still insisted on taking you to the court to file for a divorce. Now she has left you and she, she's now living all by herself. Akin, she has every right to be angry. <laughs> I offended her. I know you offended her. But two wrongs don't make right. Uh, at least you, you, you send the lady away. And the lady even, the, the lady's family even took you to court. Akin, why are you bringing up all this? Akin, why? Why are you bringing up all this, huh? Oh. Look, I need you to believe God with me that God will settle this matter. That's all. What about your pastor? 
have you informed him of the latest development? Yes, I've told him everything, even about Moladi. He has just finished praying with me on the phone before you came. Mm. Max. Yeah. Do you know what's on my mind? No, unless you tell me. If after all efforts to win back your wife has failed, despite all your positive steps, I think you should begin to consider an alternative move. What do you mean by an alternative move, Aki? Huh? My wife sends her greetings. She's at home with uh, Daniel and Lorraine. Oh. Are they back from school? Yeah, they're back on holidays. Uh, Aki, uh, what exactly do you mean by alternative move? <laughs> Don't let me affect your conviction. Let's leave it as it is. Good night. The man has done has no what, Mama. It has no what. This is not what he promised us. Hey, Okwe Yemi. I want you to know that whoever we eat the honey from the rock would not mind if his axe goes blunt. Patience, Okwe Yemi. Patience. The power is working. The power is working indeed, Mama. I can see the power working. I can even feel it working. For almost one and a half years now, the man has not come around looking crazily for me. And yet to say the power is working. The power is working, Mama. I can see it. I don't know. You have even prevented me from looking for help elsewhere. Ah. Okay. This thing demands real patience. My dear. You have to be very, very patient. Mama, you are talking about patience. Mama, you are talking about patience after one and a half years. I am not getting any younger. I'm getting older by the day. I have to know where I'm going. My time is running out. Okay. Yemi, let me remind you something. The very day you entered into his house, with your six months old pregnancy, you know the wife became something else. She completely changed to him. The following day, she went straight to the court to file a divorce. Yet you said the power is not working. The following week, she moved out from his house. And you said the power is not working. A week after his wife moved out, I moved in into his house, mm. thinking that I would stay there. But a month after, the man just woke up one day and started, started, started behaving strangely. And he sent me packing, Mama. He sent me packing. I can't understand this kind of power. I can't understand the kind of power the man you took me to possess. This is not what we told the man to do. What we told him to do was the kind of power that would take me into the man's house and that I would stay there permanently. And the same power that would push the wife out and the wife would stay out permanently. I can't understand, Mama. Huh? Look, the Baba has failed. He has failed completely. Okay. Perhaps the mistake we made was that we went to the court to challenge his actions. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Going to court was not my idea. It was your idea and you know it. You suggested it and you went ahead to engage the service of a lawyer, thinking that the court will rule that the man should take me back with the pregnancy. Unfortunately for you, Mama, the court ruled otherwise. You caused the whole problem, Mama. No. You caused the problem. No. 